Need some water, sorry. Sister complex kingpin of steel? Oh, that's hilarious. Was that me? Sister complex kingpin of steel. I'm impressed, there's so much wrong with that phrase, I don't know where to begin. No, I shouldn't be thinking about that. Those words aren't the problem here. I have to make sure that the TV isn't plugged in. That that was the Midnight Channel. Was that actually showing was rather ridiculous, but thinking back, everything the Midnight Channel showed last year didn't make much sense either. I'm sadly gripped by tension. If the Midnight Channel is appearing again, I have to find out why. I pulled out my cell phone and reached a use case number. Let's see. I quickly hit the call button. Does everyone uh, know about this? Is everyone aware of the Midnight Channel still being uh, broadcasted? Do they know uh, what uh, that is showing us? And uh, that we've been giving taglines that can only be described as uh, uncharitable. <laughs> I can tell what's going on by just the sound of his voice. Yusuke knows about what's happened on Midnight Channel just now. He's trying to hide that from me. Considering that I've been out of Inuba for a while, I bet he's trying to keep me uh, from worrying about it. There's no need for him to be concerned about that. Then again, I can kind of understand why he, what he feels. I'm his friend, after all. And that's not why I was calling. I saw the Midnight Channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh? I can easily hear Yusuke's panic on the other side of the phone. He's probably surprised that I saw the main channel when I uh, should have, shouldn't have even been in Nuba by now. He must be thinking that main channel is now appearing on a national TV network. Looks like Teddy didn't tell him after Teddy all. Did not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. You haven't changed. So how about it? You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rosantamo? Why'd you zero out on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? Oh, I ought to tell you, that program's not the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, and Kanji aren't here either. They disappeared. For a moment, I was, uh, I was at last for words. Not only has Midnight Channel uh, come back, we lost contact with three of our friends. Like, didn't we just talk to Teddy today? I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe that those uh, two things are relate right. unrelated. We should get together tomorrow like we planned. Yeah, at the Junis Food Court. Welcome back, partner. I'm suddenly reminded I haven't even uh, created use K yet. I finally feel a sense of worry uh, fade a little. I answer with a it's smile. Good to be here. No matter what happens, our friends may be in danger. If that's so, then there's only one thing to do. Hmm? Speaking of things I have oh, to do. Right. Sorry to say, I forgot to pick up your souvenir. A souvenir? Don't you worry about it, man. You sure? I thought you were really looking forward to it. Those nurses. N nurses? I had a feeling he wouldn't uh, get it if I didn't uh, tell him flat out. This is rather hard to bring up, but oh yeah, well. Teddy asked me to get it for you. He said you were crushed that they got burned. Oh, wait, this is all. I didn't know you were into nurses. Ah, no, 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 shut up! That's enough! Damn it, you're trying to wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. <laughs> but I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that seems like uh, he understands about his souvenir. In any case, the preparations have uh, have been met. Tomorrow, I'll meet at everyone's uh, everyone to sort through whatever information we have on the situation. If we have to, we'll go back into that world. Be best uh, if this was just our imagination, but unfortunately, we know that Midnight Channel couldn't have appeared without a reason. I should make sure I'm ready for tomorrow and get some rest. A lot of dialogue, not a lot of fighting. Place is as lively as always. I look across the food court on Drew Nice's roof for the first time for, in a while. Even though there aren't many people in Inuma, this place is 
exceptionally crowded. Plus, because it's Golden Week one, well, I feel like it's busier than usual. Uh, I happened to run into Yusuke at the elevator. We barely uh, briefly greeted each other. Uh, guys are weird like that. The closer we are, the more simple our interaction when we met each other face to face. To our step up the food court, we immediately find uh, Yukiko and Chie. They were back, uh, they way back at us, uh, past the playground area from the bench where we're, uh, they're sitting. We chatted some more while we all sat down, then Yusuke stood up and cleared his throat loudly. He probably been waiting for the right moment to say something. He hasn't mentioned anything to me, but I can easily guess that he's, what he's about to say. Look, we all look towards well, Yusuke. It sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Why not? It's been two months since we last saw each other. After all, she and Yuk uh, Yukiko start uh, chuckling uh, when I uh, shrug, and though Yusuke seems uh, saddened and all, he still ends up laughing along as well. It's a relief to see that they are uh, the same as always, but because of that, it makes me even more worried about the friends that aren't he uh, here right now. We can't start uh, slacking off. We begin to sort through the information that we know about already. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotoka, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here too. If she has a reason for not being here and we can uh, still contact her, then uh, Nato should be fine. That leaves Teddy, Rize, and Kanji. Not hearing back from them after an entire day has passed isn't normal at all. The relationship between uh, their sudden disappearance and the reappearance of the Midnight Channel last night disturbs me. TA seems pretty angry about it. Many of the locals know about her, the rumor of the Midnight Channel. In other words, the troubling broadcast has already been seen by who knows how many people. For what I've been told, the moment Chie uh, tried to ask another student about the Midnight Channel, the other girl ran away with a look of fear in her, on her face. It's no surprise that Chie uh, would be angry, but in the end... Me most is Ted. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah. We can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. That's right, going inside the TV. Out of everything, that was the uh, that was the element that shocked our common sense the most out of everything we experienced last year. Actually, the murder last year's event happened in the other world inside the television. This world is filled with monsters called shadows and are born from people's hearts. Because my friend and I gained persona power to defeat those uh, shadows, we are able to enter TV screens and fight them. Be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? But even uh, we persona users could uh, find it extremely difficult to leave that world on our own. 
in uh, order to come back, we need the exit TV that our friend Teddy was capable of creating. Uh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate them. No matter what the reason, it's uh, reassuring to knowing that we have an uh, exit strategy ready for us. To be honest, I almost fell into it the first time it appeared in my room, after all. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. We all shared a look to confirm our intentions. All of them nodded back. I can see the seriousness in their eyes. Even though there was a two month gap since I last saw them, they still continue to put their trust in me. I feel a slight sense of pride as I st uh, stand up from the bench. The large screen TV in the electronics department is uh, directly below the food court. That was the entrance we always used last year. I hear a voice. It's a woman, woman's voice. It sounds familiar to me. This voice is... Welcome to the Velvet Room. I don't sense the, this... Uh, this I, I don't sense that this intense floating feeling that I usually when I enter the TV world. Uh, when I co uh, concentrate that I realize that I must have been sitting in a chair. The moment I open my eyes, I see vibration. Uh, I see vibrant blue. The velvet room. I visited this place an untold number of times last year, and advanced more in my uh, dreams yesterday. I never thought I could return to this place. It's not a dream. This is going on. Didn't my contract end already? Igor, who usually sits uh, front and center, is nowhere to be seen. Uh, the one to greet me is the woman with the silver hair, Margaret. Could this be a persona summoning uh, then? That I haven't in a few times last year too. Margaret smiles as if she uh, says my suspicious. This is tied to your fate. Nothing that occurs here is meaningless. Though you reached an end to one journey, you now find yourself here again. This shows that you will once again be faced with a question. A question? And something really is going on? Another mystery has appeared, and we are about to be dragged into it again. Could that be uh, what and she here, means? Alan, what befalls you will upset your status quo. It is true that you've opened the door once already, but all things change. Nothing ever remains the same. What you gained before will change over time as well. You will have to face them once again. Face them? Again? First time that Margaret's were uh, were in my mind uh, is the slide of my friend's smiling faces. Is that going to change? No, that can't be true. 
and face them again. That's impossible. Once I walk out and leave this room, I should, I should still be in with my friends. There's no need to jump to conclusions. But Margaret appeared to have uh, anticipated my thoughts and smiled, while uh, while narrowing her eyes. Show me how you will proceed down the path that awaits beyond the door you've opened. My vision waves and the blue light before me vanishes quickly. Wait, I still need to know what you mean by those words. Alright, so we're at chapter 2 and uh, still no fighting yet. Alright, so like we save 6 and come back. Cool. Oh my god, that's creepy. Where am I? What did I get uh, thrown to when I left the blue room? The scenery is so unexpected uh, that I'm at loss. This is a school. This is music room of uh, Yushigami High. I attended the school with my friends until recently. There's no mistaking it. Dude, I love this music. We enter TV together, so why am I here? No, that's not right. This is... No, wait. This has to be the TV room. The gra graffiti on the ground. Shook's place like uh, they're for some kind of ritual. The eerie sh shining eyes of the portrait on the wall. The more carefully I look, the more I realize that this place is not real uh, Ushigami High. Most of all, I sense no warmth from this place, and I like I always did from the students who would come and go from here. This is a fake. It's definitely not the school I attended. But what happened to uh, to turn the world inside TV like this? On top of that, we entered the TV from our usual entrance, but that ended up in a completely different this place. Never I also realized my friends aren't with me either. Did we somehow get uh, separated? I started to feel chills down my spine and look and look around. Hello, sorry for the wait. Oh, it's Rizé. Is that you, Rize? I shot the question, but she doesn't answer. This is Rize uh, Kuchigawa, one of the uh, friends from the investigation team that we couldn't co contact. Does she not hear me, or is she choosing not to respond? As I ask, ask myself this, I hear different voice echoing as well. I look around, I look around in surprise. Those, these voices are not just uh, from one or two people. I see countless students uh, staring at me from the hallway and the entrance everywhere I turn. What's going on? Why are there so many people inside the TV world? Before I can think of any answers, Rizzi makes another announcement. And as a, on a cue, the monitor on the music room turns on. What happened on it? it was What appeared on it was Teddy. He was wearing a strange hat and cape, just like he did on the uh, Midnight Channel last night. First Rizzi and now Teddy? What are they doing? Again, that's the same bizarre tournament uh, that was shown on the Midnight Channel. Then, is Teddy really the one behind this Teddy, insanity? On? We came to look for you and Rise. Ah, always with the talking, Sensei. It's a big waste of time. Less talk and more fighting with the next challenger. Come on down! Teddy looks away and makes a dismissive gesture. Smoke suddenly bursts out of the underneath me and uh, robs me of vis visibility. There's someone behind that white curtain. Eventually, my field of vision begins to clear. I keep my guard up, expecting anything. 
But who should appear but Yusuke? Though I didn't, hadn't expect to run uh, into him like this, I relieved to see that uh, he's safe. Teddy did say something about the challenger just a moment ago. I recall the P1 Grand Prix, uh, uh, Prix, Prix that appeared on Midnight Channel looks uh, like some kind of fighting competition. Wait, am I supposed to fight Yusuke now? That's not funny at all. Great. They're expecting you and me to fight. <laughs> looks like. Sheesh, what's Teddy thinking? I need some water. Uh, 